गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फंक्शन ऑफ द स्टेप यस आई नो इन लोअर क्लासेस यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दैट स्टेम कंडेक्स वाटर अलोंग विद द मिनरल्स टू द अपर बॉडी पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट्स बट हैव यू एवर सीन इट हैपनिंग सो टुडे इन दिस एक्टिविटी आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द सेम सो वेन एवर वी आर डूइंग एन एक्टिविटी विद द प्लांट्स वी शुड नॉट प्लग द यूजफुल प्लांट्स फ्रॉम आर गार्डन वी शुड टेक आउट द वीड्स वॉट आर वीड्स वीड्स आर अनवॉन्टेड प्लांट्स इन द गार्डन सो वेन वी यूज दैन फॉर दीज एक्टिविटीज दे बिकम यूजफुल सो इट इज वन वे ऑफ यूजिंग मेकिंग अ बेस्ट आउट ऑफ वेस्ट सो हियर आई एम हैविंग टू वीड्स यू सी द स्टेम इज लिटल ट्रांसल्यूजेंट इन दीज वीड्स सो इट इज लिटल ट्रांसल्यूजेंट नाउ वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू विद वीड here in two test tubes i am having water i am going to add some stain in them to color this water so in one hand i am having saffron in stain which is pink in color and in another hand i am having methyl blue which is blue in color so we are going to add these two in this test tube and make it into a colored water at home you can use red and blue ink or red and blue water colors just a drop gives it lot of color so our water has become blue in another one i am going to add a drop of saffron in as i already told you now what we have to do is we have to dip this stem now before i dip just see the color of the stem there is no color in the stem once i dip them in the uh, in the colored water the water will rise and along with that the color will also rise so this will show us that not only water but minerals dissolved in water also are conducted through the stem we have to leave these plants overnight then only you will be able to see how the water along with the color has traveled to the upper parts of the plant so i have already prepared a setup which i the same thing i have already done and i have left it for overnight so that i can show you it today so just have a look so here we are having the plants which were dipped in colored water and left for overnight okay now i'll take out this plant from methyl blue or the blue color you see here i'm having a plant which i didn't dip and you can see the difference in the stem look carefully at the test plant which was not dipped in anything and the one which was dipped in the colored water you can see the difference children Yes. Now let us see what happened to the one it, which we dipped in the saffron and stain. So here also you can see the difference. This was dipped in saffron and the water along with the pink color has traveled to the upper parts whereas in this one which was not dipped it is plain. So appreciate the difference children. i can show you in a better way by doing a trans transaction so for that i'll call venkatesh sir who who is an expert in doing this sir uh, good morning children 
मैडम ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू स्टेम कंडक्ट्स वाटर इज एंट इट सो हाउ डज द वाटर कंडक्ट्स इन द स्टेम यू आर सी सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू सी दैट हाउ इट कंडक्ट्स सो यू विल बी ईगर टू नो हाउ इट कंडक्ट्स लाइक इन ह्यूमन बॉडी इवन इन प्लांट्स ऑल्सो देर आर टिश्यूज विच परफॉर्म ए स्पेसिफिक फंक्शन एंड इन दिस प्लैंट वी हैव इन एनी प्लैंट एक्चुअली देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ वेस्कुलर बंडल्स यू विल स्टडी इट इन हायर क्लासेस एक्साइलम एंड फ्लोयम ओके एक्साइलम इज ए वेस्कुलर बंडल विच कंडक्ट्स वाटर एंड मिनरल्स एब्जॉर्ब बाय द रूट टू द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लैंट वेर एज फ्लोयम इज द अनदर वेस्कुलर बंडल विच transport transport the food prepared by the plants you already studied what type of food plant prepares it is a starch carbohydrate okay like us plant also require energy for that food is also required okay now let us see how can we see the stem conducts water so already i have told you the vascular bundle it is nothing but like a pipeline which what we receive water in our house like that here also the bundles which conducts water and minerals let us see now what i am doing the plant which is dipped in this red color solution so i am going to take a section is called transverse section when you come to the higher classes you will be allowed to do this and observe under microscope and already in your textbook there is one diagram in that section is shown with red color dots the dots are nothing but the tubes which carry the water and minerals so i am going to do that to show you so for that i am using one slide and with the help of a sharp blade just i give a stroke okay now i am going to take one section okay like this if i give a stroke you can get a section i will show you afterwards see this is one section i have taken and i have transferred on this slide okay now from the another plant which we have dipped in blue color solution here also i am going to take a transverse section just i will give a stroke so so that now i will take one section of this so if i give a stroke like this number of sections you can get it is transparent sections you can get that can be observed under microscope so this time you are not able to see of course but what we do is i will transfer this on the slide now another section i will take up from a plant which is not dipped in water normal plant okay now from this also i will take one section and i will transfer it on the slide now you can see the difference so i will just the first one the first section which we have taken from the plant which is dipped in red color solution you can see the red color here in the bundles is called vascular bundles and in this blue color also you can see and whereas no color is seen in this no color in sense the colorless water is conducted so that so what we will come to know when water is conducted through the vascular bundle we will come we we'll don't get a idea for that we have put the plants in a colored solution so that along with the water the color is also absorbed that is is taken through this vascular bundle are you able to identify the color here this one is red color because we have dipped in red colored solution whereas here we have dipped in blue colored solution 
and it is plain or colorless so this is the way we can find out how the water is conducted in the plant is it clear children thank you